Alan, what's the best mic you got? Okay. Go ahead. Good morning, Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Now I need somebody to pray. Who's, who want to pray? Okay. I like you because you got a bow tie. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking me and my auntie up. Help me to listen to my auntie always, every day. Help all the children to listen to their mommy and parents. Because today is the holy day and God gave us this day. He gave us six days to play and then he took one day. And he made it into the Sabbath. The Holy Day. Amen. Amen. Wow. How old are you? Six. What's your name? Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. That's right. That's Aaron. Now, boys and girls, let me ask you a question before I get started. Why do we have rules in the world? Yeah? To keep us safe. Keep us safe, correct. What else, Aaron? Help us. Help us. Help us, yes. To learn. Learn, yes. Those are all great answers. And so today, we're going to talk about a certain type of rules. But I need some help when I got my friend in here and I want to pull him out. This is my new friend, and I want you, man, to uh, introduce yourself. My name is Joshua, Joshua Nutt. That's Nutt like N-U-T, no, 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 N-U-T-T, Nutt. <laughs> and Joshua, who do you live with? I live with my mommy and my daddy. They're both nuts. <laughs> do you have any siblings, huh? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Oh, yeah. I have one sister. Her name is Hazel. Nut. <laughs> Hazel Nut, huh? Yeah. My family tree is full of nuts. Well, Joshua, uh, how is school? Uh, <laughs> don't ask. What seems to be the problem? Well, yesterday the teacher gave us a math problem and I ended up ten times. What's wrong with that? I got ten different answers. Well, look, I may be able to help you. Let's do something simple. If we have a potato, yeah, and we cut it in half, yeah. How many pieces do we have? We have two. Right. And if we cut those potatoes in half, what do we got? Uh, let's see. Four. Right again. And cutting those potatoes in half will give us what? Let me see now. 62 divided by 23. Eight. Right. And if we finally cut all those potatoes in half, what do you got? Potato salad. No, 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 Joshua, look. Math can be quite simple if we learn to follow some rules. Rules? We got rules for everything. Why do we need rules? Rules establish order, but good ones also protect us. You don't say. As a matter of fact, God has rules. I call them God's love rules. Do you know what they're actually called? Sure, they're called the Ten Suggestions. No, 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 no. They're called the Ten Commandments. God meant for us to follow these rules. That's why he called them commandments and not suggestions. Do you know the man God gave these rules to? Sure, he gave them a Moses. Right. What do you know about Moses? Well, I know that Moses had a big headache. Where is it says in the Bible that Moses had a big headache? It says God gave Moses two tablets. <laughs> no, no, no. Those were the hills. They were pieces of stone in which God wrote the Ten Commandments. Do you know any of the commandments? No, they're too hard to remember. Not really. But it does take some effort, though. I find that when I put things in a rhyme, I can remember them better. Hey, I know what. You're good with words. I'll say the commandment, and you give me the rhyme. That way, you can remember all ten. Ready? 
uh, ready, Mr. Eddie. That's the spirit. Number one says, you shall have no other gods but me. Let's see. You shall have no other gods but me. Not even your girlfriend, your wife, or TV. Right. <laughs> Number two. You shall not make yourself an idol. You shall not make yourself an idol. Serving the one true God is vital. Right. Number three. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Let's see. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Not even that other kids think that swearing is not or call you are. Right. Now, number four, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Read none of the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. If you go to church, you'll learn how to be holy. Right. Now, this is a hard one for a lot of people. It says, number five, honor your mother and your father. <laughs> That's a hard one. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Let's skip that one. No, we can't skip any of the commandments. God meant for us to follow them all. Come on. Honor your mother and your father. Honor your mother and your father. Love them. Obey them. And don't be a father. Right. Number six. You shall not kill. You shall not kill. It'll make you ill. Right. Number seven. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not commit adultery. True moms and dads, they strengthen our country. Right. Number, number eight, you shall not steal. You shall not steal. If the devil says take it, you tell him no deal. All right, man. Number nine, you shall not tell a lie. You shall not tell a lie. Not even a fifth or even a little weight line. Right. And the last one, you shall not covet. You shall not covet. Love what you have and take good care of it. Right. Now, do you think you remember all ten? Sure. Let's see. Hit that CD number two. Good 
Everyone. Okay, you go back to your seat. 